one of the things that's been very uh, great to be on the County Commission has been the ability to develop projects like this Paradise Coast Sports Complex. This will be one of those facilities that will be a great complex for uh, promoting tourism. There will be sporting clubs, sporting teams, competitions from all over the country that will come here uh, to play different things, baseball, football, lacrosse. Uh, but more importantly than even that is that it will be a great facility for our residents. Uh, when it's not being used for these sporting, uh, sporting events, it'll be used by our residents. It'll be a great place for um, concerts, other public events. This is going to be one of those truly great facilities for the future of this county. This is, ha has been a multi-phase project. Uh, the last phase of this project is the field house, which I consider to be one of the most important components of this. The plans are to build this facility to be able to withstand a Category 5 hurricane. And so uh, it'll be a, a tremendous storm shelter for our residents in the event of a hurricane coming our way. But it'll also serve as a regional uh, storm shelter, for example, if there's a, a need for evacuees from Miami. Uh, to find a location because of a storm hitting the East Coast. Uh, this could serve as that uh, type of facility as well. That, that partnership is going to be uh, fabulous for uh, tourism for this community. Uh, but also it will benefit the, the uh, current residents of the community. The Great Wall uh, facility will provide uh, a, an indoor water park. Uh, that will be used by the visitors to the Great Lodge facility. However, when that facility is not completely filled with tourists, it will be open to county residents as well to enjoy the indoor uh, water facility there. You put these two together, the, the synergy is, uh, is really great for uh, both for visitors to our community as well as the tourist industry as well as our residents. One of the things that I really uh, campaigned on when I ran for the County Commission uh, back in 2016 was neighborhood renovation, and in particular, the Golden Gate City community, things that needed to be done to really enhance that community. And we've done a lot. For example, uh, acquisition of the privately owned water and sewer system to make sure all of our residents in that area get county water, good quality water, and good quality uh, uh, sewer service. Now part of that was to make sure that we acquired the existing golf course to maintain that as a golf course and open space for the residents of Golden Gate City. The original owner had planned on developing over 750 single-family and multi-family units on that property. That would have been a disaster not only for uh, that particular parcel of property but for all of the residents in that community in that area. Uh, the last thing they need is more single-family residences jammed into that, that area. What they really needed to do was make sure that that uh, golf course remained as a golf course and as open space. So there's a couple of accomplishments here. The county has been striving to get a publicly owned and controlled golf course literally for the last 30 years. We finally have that on the horizon now. The other uh, benefit of the way this has been structured is that there is no exposure to the county taxpayers for the cost of running that golf course. So we have a professional organization that's going to take all the risk of, of running that golf course for us. It'll be a first class golf course. It'll be great for that, that community. One of the things that this community, the, the Golden Gate City community really needs is some entertainment type of facilities for the uh, youth that live out there. The Big Shots facility is a golfing experience and a dining experience uh, that the residents of the, of the Golden Gate City area will be able to enjoy. Uh, the golfers that uh, choose to play on that golf course will be able to enjoy that as almost like a clubhouse, uh, but open to the general public. Uh, this will be a really nice facility for that area, but that's what's given us the ability to really operate the golf course. The Big Shots facility, the entertainment facility, will provide a much needed facility for the youth out there uh, for dining and for entertainment, but it also gives us the ability to run a golf course uh, without having any cost to the county taxpayers. Going back to 2018, the County Commission approved placing on the ballot a one cent sales tax increase. And that was approved by the voters in the election in November of 2018. Now one of the uh, projects that I really uh, wanted to see happen for the county was the development of a uh, veterans nursing home. Uh, there is federal money available and state money available for uh, nursing homes. Uh, Collier County has the number one need in the state 
for a veterans nursing home based on our population and based on the number of veterans that we have in this community. So we're now ranked number one in the state for the next veterans nursing home. We have $30 million coming out of the sales tax for the local contribution to a veterans nursing home. And it's my hope that within the next two or three years we'll have an open facility to service the veterans in this community that desperately need a nursing home. One of the other uh, opportunities that we have captured with the acquisition of the golf course property is the development of an affordable workforce type housing project that will have housing for firefighters, school teachers, nurses, folks that provide a very important public service. But in addition, there'll be some housing in that project, lower cost housing for veterans and lower cost housing for seniors. Those are two other housing needs that are greatly uh, needed in this community. And this property is providing a location for that. The plan right now is to develop a very substantial beach renourishment project. Uh, we have uh, permitting processes underway. We are sourcing different financing options for that, as well as federal funding and state funding. Uh, and the plan is to uh, re-nourish all of the beaches in Collier County, but to do it at a, at a level that not only will provide great recreational opportunities for our beachgoers, but will also provide storm protection for our property owners along the beaches. Uh, that will help in, with a lot of different uh, efforts. For example, uh, insurance costs. That will have an impact on reducing insurance costs. Uh, there are a lot of benefits by having this type of a storm protection project for the, for the county. It's my view that the most important function of local government is the protection and safety of our citizens and our visitors. We've made sure to fully fund the Sheriff's Department every year. There's been no discussion of reducing funding for the Sheriff's Department. As a matter of fact, uh, the Sheriff's budgets have increased uh, every year since I've been on the board since 2016. And that will continue because as I've said, the most important function of government is the protection of our citizens. We're going to make sure that Collier County is a safe place to live, a safe place to visit. I can say that no matter how good your quality of life is, if you don't feel safe on, your, on the streets, if you don't feel safe in your homes, your quality of life is not very good. We're going to make sure that people feel safe in Collier County. The, the sheriff has requested a, a forensics facility uh, that's fully funded. Uh, in the past, the sheriff has requested helicopters. We've fully funded those. So really, the re we have a great deal of respect for Sheriff Rambos. Uh, we understand that his requests are reasonable, and we try to fund those requests uh, as best we can. It's been a high honor for me to serve the public as a member of the Collier County Commission since 2016. Uh, one of my goals has been to improve the delivery of county services to our communities. Golden Gate City is a perfect example of improvements that are uh, we're putting into that community, but all of our, all of our neighborhoods need attention. And so uh, for me, it's been a high honor to be able to serve the citizens of Collier County, to deliver on uh, things that are necessary for those citizens to enjoy their quality of life.